That's beauty. Okay, we're down here at Vision Health and Fitness. With, uh, I'm down here with James Watland, who is Lewis Scott's new strength and conditioning coach. I understand right. from some of your background, you bring a lot more to the table than just that. Yeah, yeah, I like to think so. I mean, uh, I mean, my my uh, competitive background is in uh, professional kickboxing, uh, full contact kickboxing, which I started training when I was 14, and then uh, started competing as an amateur and a professional, and won various titles in that um, and I did that for over 22, 23 years. I was ranked number one in the world for about 13, 14 years doing that. So I do have an experience of combat sports and, and, uh, and as part of that is the experience I've had actually training to compete in those events and also my, my interest and love and passion in sports nutrition, in sports uh, supplements and obviously in the training side of it as well. So the strength and conditioning encapsulates so many different things. Uh, it's, it's not just a case of um, you know going and lifting weights or, or going for a run, which I, used, I started doing in my early career. Yeah. I, I would just lift weights, uh, box, kickbox and run. But there's a lot more out there and, and, and that's what I'm trying to bring to the table with Lewis. So, so using my competitive background, which is extensive, with, with my uh, uh, experience and knowledge within, within the, the, the training and the nutrition supplement side as well. So how did it first get together in terms of you and Lewis? How did you first get together? I think he hit me in the face. I think he punched me in the face. That was how we met. And that's a true story. We, we started sparring together when I was comp uh, coming towards uh, uh, the back end of my professional career for my last four or five uh, professional fights. I started training at Newbiggin Boxing Club. But actually, the introduction was made uh, through another gentleman to Paul, to Lewis's dad, and said, can you come along and speak to the guys about nutrition and supplements? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So I went in and saw the guys. And I think we, as a kickboxer, you go into a boxing gym, like, who's this guy? You know, who's this guy? What's yeah. So I went in and spoke to the guys. And, and I then I'd said, look, can I come in and do some training with you guys? I've got a, a, a fight coming out. I think it was a European uh, title fight at the time. And they're like, yeah, come in and spar. So, so I had a few of the guys I was sparring with. And uh, I did pretty well against them. And then they were like, oh, we've got this guy, Lewis Scott. Can you come and spar with him? I was like, yeah, let's, let's get in there. And, uh, you know, Lewis hits hard and he's fast. And uh, so that's how we met. And uh, I, I like to think by having, uh, by having uh, 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 bled a little bit in the gym and, and trained with the guys uh, that they were, you know, more open to, to, to my ideas. And that's how we met. And then from there, it, you know, established into being a training relationship. It's not exactly what you'd call meat. Cute though, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. But, um, but you Bang. know, it's it's he's a you know he's a, he, he's he's a charming guy. So you know, even though when he hits you, you still want to like the guy. Yeah. So, uh, but but it was so that's how we that's how we met. So how long have you been working with him now? Uh, a number of years now, actually. Um, I think oh. maybe three three years, three Seven. years, three four years. I've, three oh. years I've been training yeah. there. And then, uh, and that's that's how I got to know them. As I said before, as we said before, and then as a strength and conditioning coach, uh, as a as a one to one trainer, that's been going on really just uh, in the last probably eight nine months, I would say, in the form that it's at at the moment. And certainly, this fight he's on now is when we've really uh, you, know, you know got to the angle together and we've really got into it. So so. It's improving all the time. You can see what, what, what we're doing, and not just what we're doing, what Paul's doing, yeah, yeah. what he's doing on his own. It's really starting to take a hold. So I would really say that this fight, uh, this training camp rather, is really the start line, the proper start line for us together as a as, as, as a as a Well, you've you know, been like a team. full yeah 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 together team exactly. Sort of we're we're i able to we're, you're we're associated we're, before yeah, where now it's yes, like it's more yes, exactly. I'm on part of the team now. I'm on camp, and uh, so that that, so that allows us to to do the training together. That I would like to do. Uh, really get on board with his nutrition because it's something that I've, you know I would give him a starting point and we'd update that we'd look at that now on a regular basis yeah. and the same again with his sports nutrition as well so so really now it's it's a case that we can really get to the as I said before get to the amble and, and work on things and see improvements and we've literally I sent Lewis a text the other day we've literally just scratched the surface we, we, we're 10% in of what we can do in regards to training routines and, and the benefits from them well, Lewis, he's, he's not shy in his ambitions. He wants to be world champion. He will he's be said. a world champion. He is going to be a world champion, but not just a world champion, a WBC world champion. The belt. The belt, and then unify. Because, as I, as I said, it's like, we're, are we supposed to hold back and draw back and say, oh, no, we'll just do our, go out there and do our best. We'll, we'll win, a, win a British title, and then we'll see the long steel, then we'll see. Then we'll, no, 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 no. WBC world title. Be a future legend. Unify the belts. Otherwise, what are we doing at all? So that's where you have to set your marker to the, I've said to Lewis that, you know, I don't want to dip into um, 
into quantum physics right now, but what I will say is this, is that, you know, you know, time isn't necessarily linear. All time happens at the same time. This is what some scientists think. So what I've said to Louis is, without going too we'll far into it. We'll talk about this later, We'll talk about this later. <laughs> but what the point I'm making is that the past and the future exist at, you know, yeah, at the same yeah. time. That's what we think. So what I've said to Louis is, he's already a WBC world champion. We've just got to catch up to that point in time. But we're not going to catch up at that point in time by sitting on the couch waiting for it to happen. We've still got to take action and make these things happen. Yeah. So, so the other part of it is the psychology of it. And as I said to Lewis, is he a swimmer or is he a great white shark? He's a great white shark. The, his opponent's a swimmer and his opponent's chosen to get into his waters. That's how I think. That's how I look at it. Well, that's... Mark, as his manager and promoter, he's been struggling to get opponents. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's been getting guys matched up and they've yeah. been pulling out. Yeah, So yeah. from the anal analogy you're just talking about there, yeah. I think Mark's going to find it even harder now. It, well, yeah, not everybody wants to get in the water with a great white shark, and I don't blame them, but at the end of the day, somebody has to. And when they do, they're fighting the danger man, Lewis Too Hot Scott, and he's here to win a world title. So he's got his um, first 10 round fight yep. on the 29th yep. of November at yep. Gateshead Leisure Centre. That's right, yeah. Have you, have you changed the training at all in terms of, obviously I think his last fight was, it was a six round fight? Yeah, yeah I believe so, it's yeah. Now, now it's going to 10 yeah. rounds, have you done any changes in the training? Well, uh, uh, the answer to that is we haven't changed the training because of this. We, we've, we've only just, as, as I said previously, we've just really now got our teeth into it. We've just started to expand the training, get it where I want it to be <laughs> for a 10 round fight. However, whether it was a six round fight, a 10 round fight or a 12 round fight, our training is always going to be to get Lewis in his maximum possible shape at that point in his life, and that's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. You know, whether in my mind, whether you're you're a professional boxer, a professional golfer, a professional you know Formula One driver, whatever sport you're doing or event, you know that the fitter your body is, the more conditioned your body is, the more active muscle you have on your body. Um, the better you're going to be, which the is, brain I mean, works better. As well, well, yes, it does, and I mean, I, I, you know, when you look at it, um, you know, golfers will, will, will train and exercise, do strength and conditioning, and, and as I said, Formula One drivers will to help them become better at their sport. So everything that we're doing is 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 is, is, is laser focused on making Lewis a better athlete, and by doing his boxing, a better boxer. So to answer your question. I want him in his best shape, however many rounds he's doing, mm. whatever opponent he's facing. My job is to make Lewis a perfect athlete, and I, and I take that job with relish, you know. Well, we're going to be talking to you more, James. No, I appreciate and your we'll time. We'll be seeing a lot more of you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for coming no, down. you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks James. I'll see you Thanks, soon. Guys. No worries. Let's thank talk you. modern physics. Let's do it. <laughs> String theory. Let's yeah, play. yeah. Oh, I love all that stuff. I love all that Hi, I'm here with Irfan Asgore. He's actually from ME Brothers, who are the sponsors of Bazi Razak. So Irfan's down to watch some of the training here. So I thought uh, I'd bring Irfan in and yeah. ask you a few questions. So <laughs> how did you get started? How did you first get involved with Baz and decide that you've got to be sponsoring him? What's the background there? Background as well, but Baz's been a local lad from the West End. We've been known him for a while. So Baz has been a local lad from the West End. <laughs> We've known him for quite a while. Filmed in the shop a few times. Know the family as well. And we heard it's getting into boxing. He's doing well. Then my brother Imran, my brother, he started training with Bassi, and uh, Joe recommended that uh, I had the opportunity to sponsor oh, Bassi, so I thought, yes, why not? <laughs> a nice lad, local lad, promote the local lad, give him a bit of, give him a, bit of a push in the right direction. And from what we've seen, it seems to be doing very well. Just, uh, so you've been with him from the start, so from his first fight? Yes, from about uh, it was early, in, early in the year, about March, April time. Right. The first fight, we sponsored that, and the second fight in uh, August as well, which was successful in as well. And his upcoming fight as well, so... So it's all good stuff. So it is indeed, yes. Obviously from a company point of view, yep. it's good to get the publicity from that, yeah. but for you, it's, it's, that's not what it's all about, is it? It's not, no. Yes, there is a publicity side of it, but it's more trying to promote Bazzi in the fact that trying to get the local lads to so, say, look, you can do something with your life, achieve something with, life, with yourself if you just put the effort in and hard work in. So I said, Buzzy, being from the West End, puts a lot of time and effort in. He's done well for himself, and by, inshallah, by the grace of God, he will do a lot better. So again, just promoting the local lads that yes, you can do something with your life if you put your heart into it and put the effort in. So it's sending the right message out, essentially, Absolutely. isn't it? That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, it's great to be a part of it. Thank you very much. I will be catching up with you again as the story Absolutely. continues. No problem, by all means. Thanks very much for coming down. You're welcome. All Thanks. the best. Cheers. Cheers.